Hello everybody, welcome to IT Skills channel. My name is Aiden. In today's video, we have Nessus, Nessus Pro. Nessus is great. And in this video, we're gonna download the Nessus Pro and we're gonna actually scan our network. This is something I wanna put a disclaimer alert. Do not do this on the enterprise network. Do this at your own house or lab. I'm doing this at my own house, but if you're working for a company enterprise, most people do not want you to scanning their network. You have to get some permissions for that. But if you have authorization for doing this, then be at it. Scan your network and figure out what devices that you have in your network that could be vulnerable, that could be easily you know, hackable. You're gonna see in my system, after I download the Nessus, there's gonna be some devices that are gonna be questionable. But this is what I sign up for. And so I am simply going to go ahead and make an adjustment to that once I get the scan result in. But yeah, this is exciting. I already downloaded Nessus over here. I'm going to run it. To run it, I'm simply going to go ahead and go to... Actually, that's the, the virtual machine version. So let me go to the downloads, get another download version over, over here. Let me find it. Yeah, that's the one. I got though I had the VM version where it actually has an image configured. So this is the ISO. I'm going to actually run this one. So once this is finished copying, I'm going to start running this. And once we do, then we can actually go ahead and actually, you know, start installing it. So yeah, now I'm installing it. I'm going to hit next. I agree with the EULA. And this is all important, so you should read it, but nobody reads it nowadays. I'm going to hit install. So you can see that's the installation aspect of it. It's not really hard. This is very easy. It does tend to take a while, so which is why in this video, I'm going to be fast forwarding it to save on some time. For whatever reason, my like I got, I got it installed, so I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to log in. Because again, I fast forward it. So I'm going to log into the Nessus once it finished initializing here. And you can see it created a local host over here on the top. So that's where we're logging under the local host. This is literally a server I built. It's just called Nessus, SCCM slash Nessus. So I'm using it and I gave it enough memory. So I'm going to hit, you know, basically continue. I'm going to choose which Nessus I want is expert or pro. I'm going to choose the pro next. I'm going to have to put in my activation key. So this is something I'm going to have to find it. I'm going to have to blur it out because this activation key is unique to me. If you are installing it, I believe you can install the free edition and you may get limited scan, but mine is not free edition. So I do not want to leak out this activation code. So once I'm done putting in the activation code, then I'll resume back to the normal screen. So yeah, I'm done putting the activation code in and I'm going to hit next. And uh, I should be able to actually continue now. There you go. Now we're ready. So I put in my activation code. It's now provisioning Nessus. Once you put your activation code, you have to put in your email address, the which the subscription associated with it. Again, Nessus is very thrall. They are in the game of security. And anybody who's aspiring to become a cybersecurity engineer or a cybersecurity, you know, technician or whatever you want to do in cybersecurity, you should start using Nessus. It's really amazing because it does make your life easier as a cybersecurity engineer. So this is why I'm not a cybersecurity engineer myself, but I do like to know what's going on in my environment, which is why I'm running Nessus. And so you can see here. Is downloading and this could take a little bit once it finishes we will resume back Again, one of the things I'll tell you right now, and I'll tell you for free, is that 
when you're doing any type of lab, just be prepared to allocate a lot of time because something will go wrong when you're doing it. Something will not work as you expect it. So because of that, this video may you may see as a snippet of 15 to 10 minutes maybe, but the reality of the matter is that this probably took 40 minutes. I'm not going to lie. And the reason it is is because it actually takes a while to download the Nessus Pro and install it. So there you go. It's finally completed now. So now you can see over here, this is the Nessus portal. There's a lot of things that it's doing right now. I'm going to refresh it one more time. And you can see my email is showing up on the top as my username. Right now, I don't have any scans. It's brand new. You have scans, you have plugins, you have customs. You have a lot of things going on that you can do over here. So yeah, on the Terra scans, I'm going to play around with that and see what I can find out. But right now, we're not going to do anything with it. We're going to go back to our scans and see if we can create new scans. So we're going to hit create new scan. And here we have host of things we can do. We can do ho discovery host. You know, we can do basic network scan, advanced network scan, advanced dynamic scan, malware scan, and so, so much things. So we're just going to do basic network scan right now. And we're going to call it I teach skills to kind of keep it the theme of the network, the channel over here. And so, again, the creativity is not there right now. When I'm filming this video, is you can see the time is late. And so I'm just pretty much putting something together. And over here, there's no folders. I don't have any folder created for me, so I'm just going to keep it on there. And again, here, I'm putting a good description over here. Scanning all my network for any strange servers or services. And that's it. And then this is going to be where my IP is, my IP subnet. So what's the IP range I want to scan? So 192.168.1.1 to 192.168.1.254 up until or 253 rather before my gateway and i'm gonna there's also an option where you can check it live result that will show you what real scans bring up right right away so this is a good way to see what's going on so i'm going to check that to because i want to see the live result i can modify this make schedules but i just gonna save it because again we're new to this and i want to see what we can find out so right now my scans is ready you know, I have one scan is on demand. I'm going to select it. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to configure some more. If I want to, I can do schedule notifications. Who is going to go to an email once I configure SMTP server. But right now, I cannot really get notification anyways because I haven't configured SMTP. And then you can do discovery. And again, there's more. And then assessments. You can do advanced. It's really nice. I mean, there's so much you can do with it. So... If I go ahead and launch a scan right now, it's going to start running the scan. Now, the other thing I want to say, and I may have taken out of this, this, the image over here, is that when you're scanning, the, you have to use a custom credential to make sure that it has access to everything else. So if you're scanning a servers, make sure that you're using a server administrator or somebody with a server admin or local server administrator account, so that way you can access this because Nessus it does not just want anybody with the software to scan your network without the admin rights. So you have to have admin rights. So you can see here, this is the initial scan result. Some are low risk. Some of it are going to be mixed risk information. Information is always good. Don't panic about information. But when you start seeing critical and high, that's when I'm going to start panicking. And this is my network. All the servers I have in my network. Again, this is not a typical network. In your house, you probably won't see more than this, but mine... I, I am running a multi-network, if you will, multi-servers. I have pretty much simulated a small to medium range business in terms of the systems I have, Active Directory, servers, etc. So which is why I'm going to get a lot of baggage of good, good scans and bad scans. So right now it's still going through. So the blue is still good. We're getting some red or a lot of, rather close to red, maybe medium. So... We're still good. Okay, we fire, we got our first red on that IP 116. If you notice that it got 41, you know, info, but they got one red in there. So 116, 
definitely has a problem. And then now we have 193. 193 is coincidentally is actually my NAS. I have a 20 terabyte NAS over here that stores, you know, you my iSCSI data file server. And so it has vulnerability. And if you look at it, vulnerabilities, you, if you look at the host, first of all, you're going to see that this is all the host. And then the vulnerabilities, there's 34 of them. So if you click on the 193, for example, you're going to see here SMB issues. And this is the one with SMB. So SMB says here, you know, it's not, I didn't, I didn't basically put a credential in it. So this is, again, the beauty of how network is you don't have to protect it. Because of that, I didn't protect it. So, and I think uh, it's only probably a couple of shares I didn't protect. So I need to protect it with a network password, especially the iSCSI shares. So it's telling me that I need to do that. And so, and I can also set up a sharing permission too. So it's telling me to actually set up some type of NTFS permission, you know, or security permission windows. So that way, nobody can get to it if they have access to it. And this is the shares that it's telling me that I need to actually do something with it. But yeah, I mean, this is good. Like it, without actually having oversight into your environment, this gives you enough information and give you a solution what to do to fix it. There are going to be some vulnerabilities that Nessus will not give you a clear cut answers to what you can do to fix it. But they are most of, for the most part, what I've seen is Nessus does a good job giving you what you need to do to fix it. It gives you ammunition to fix that issue. And so well, let's look at 116 next. Why does it have it? Okay, there you go. This is what I was saying about the iXCSI. I did set up an iXCSI that's not set up with a password. And this is literally telling me that I have iSCSI that's not authenticated. And you can see there's so many of them, actually. In the bottom, it tells you all the following iSCSI that I didn't set up with a password. Now, again, it's my network. I don't have anybody weird coming in. I'm pretty much the only admin. But in the business level, if you notice that this issue comes up, you know you have to address it. It's a security risk. In my house, it's still a security risk, which I'm going to address it. But for now, to make things easier, I just want to continue looking at the scans more and see what we can find out. And here is another one. This uh, SSL medium cipher suit supported suite 32. So this, uh, this is actually affects a device. What's the device over here? Let me see here. Uh... I have so again this is the dilemma i have i have so many servers i need to figure out which device this is and i actually start you know making a this is probably maybe i must say it's probably my file server if i'm not mistaken but again it doesn't tell you the dns information it just tells you the ip so it'll be nice to go back and maybe compare with ip but again right now i'm simply curious i want to just go ahead and see what's out there in my environment and this is just initially the first 10 minutes of the skin. And we're already getting a lot of this thing. Yeah, the scan is still running and it's going to continue running for a while. I think in the end, because the scan is so much and I have so many network, so many servers in my network, it might be worth to come back to this and actually do an extensive deep, deep dive. Because right now, being 1 a.m. already, almost 2 a.m., I'm not going to be able to do justice for it. So which is why I think it's going to be a good idea to just uh, recap, catch up to this video again. But yeah, so this is introduction to Nessus Professional. It gives you in-depth insight to your infrastructure. It gives you vulnerability to which host that has vulnerability. It gives you a look of what's going on to what services so you know your weak point. If you don't know your weak point, you can't strengthen it. But in here, you know your weak point. This is telling you you have a problem. Now, as an IT admin, you have to act upon it. Are you going to ignore it? Are you going to sleep nice and easy knowing this issue? Or are you going to do something about it? This is again Nessus demo. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly have enjoyed it making the video for you. Please like, subscribe, and share the video. It will help us so much. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of the day. And I'll talk to you next time.